Hey guys, I'm 13 here. This is a YouTube, uh, an update for my YouTube channel, and I haven't uh, been very regular with those recently. Although I have been regular recently. <laughs> I'm like three seconds in the video. I'm gonna start start talking about my pooping habits. Yeah, I, <laughs> I've been I've been happy about my bathroom situation recently, like to the point where I've been telling a couple of people about it, mostly my girlfriend. Um, yeah, because. As most of you should know by now, I was in a horrible, horrible marriage for years. And it's, it's funny because I've been talking about it for years, how horrible my marriage was. And uh, like I, I've been making, like I, I can find videos that are nine years old where I'm talking about how much I hate my life and I hate my marriage. But I, would, I, but I toughed it out, I stuck it out for my son uh, as long as I could. And then I had to get out because I was, I was losing my mind. I, I have PTSD syndrome from the marriage. Uh, it sounds funny, but it's, it's not really. And then I've been dealing with depression since, since then. But anyways, let's keep this happy. Let's go back to talking about my poop. Yeah, so while I was married, uh, okay. I, I figured out, oh, we're off topic again, we're off topic, we'll get back to the poop, don't worry. I figured out that, like, I, that's a city over there with the buildings, that's a city. I live somewhere um, behind us, well, that's a city there, I live to the right and back. Uh, I live, like, uh, do, 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 so like, southwest of the city, so that's, I guess, northeast, and I figured the main roads into the city, I hate main roads, I hate traffic, I, I, I used to enjoy it, and I still enjoy it in small amounts, but as a general rule, I will go, if it takes me five, if I take little back roads and it takes me five minutes, ten minutes longer to get some, well, eh, five minutes longer to get somewhere, I'll take the little back roads. And I figured out recently that I can come down this little side street that I'm on now and get into the city. Uh, with minimal amount of hassle and then I but I recently while taking this road I saw some other guy go straight like that guy just did and then once I got in, into the city I noticed that that same guy was right on my butt and uh, so I'm gonna take this road for the first time he was behind me and he was a very aggressive rider so I think turning right there would be the quicker way but like I said we're not about the quickness no anyways topic at hand yeah while I was this you might not believe this and I'm, my ex doesn't believe it, but while I was married, I, <laughs> I, oh, I pretty much only had diarrhea for the six years that I was married, and I also bled a lot, like daily, from there. So it was always diarrhea, and it was pretty much always 50% blood for six years. And now that I'm divorced and living on my own, I'm like regular and normal. That's how much stress affects you. Like it's just insane. Like now my, you know, now 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 they're normal. They're you know like you know what normal looks like hopefully. So I'm not going to get too I'm not going to start describing my normal poops, but yeah. So, yeah. Um Things are going okay. Uh, cuss, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm still dealing with depression just due to do the fact that the custody battle is taking so long, and my ex seems to be, my ex seems to be. Uh, I think the pressure of it is getting to her, so it's, it's it, like I think my son's home situation is getting worse just from the pressure she has of the court case and then the pressure on me and then my son is like is it ever gonna be finished because it's been going on for I think I don't know like seven or eight months now you know I don't know anyways let's not talk about that because keep this keep keep this positive but overall, I think I think things are going good with all that. If you want to know more detail about what how the court cases have been progressing and whatnot, you would need to support me on Patreon, and the money goes towards my lawyers. So support my lawyers. Yeah. Uh, on the right here, this is where towed vehicles get taken. I have more than once had to pick up my motorcycle and or car from there. Uh, 
one time there was a guy who I knew was I knew I knew a foreigner and he had a scooter, but the scooter didn't have any paperwork with it. It was technically illegal. We call them ghost bikes. There's bikes without paperwork. Usually, what happens is you have a foreigner who leaves the country and he leaves behind a motorcycle, and then there's no possible way to transfer ownership of that motorcycle to someone new because they we don't have their ID and we don't have them so it just can't be done so what happens is people just use it anyways because there are some positives you uh, to owning a ghost motorcycle uh, the n number one of which being you can't be ticketed because <laughs> any speeding tickets or whatnot that you get go towards the name of the guy who no longer lives in the country so yeah, I, I, I owned a ghost scooter like that. Uh, it was a girl and then she left and someone was buying her scooter off her but last minute they said no. So she was leaving the country and whatever and then she gave me that. That was actually my first scooter ever. That was my first scooter ever. I hated scooters. I thought only, you know, the only people that rode scooters were people that didn't ride you know, didn't have the ability to ride a motorcycle. I, I considered scooters to be like motorcycles, except inferior. And that's the attitude of most motorcyclists. And then, but once I owned one, and it wasn't intentional, once someone like kind of just gave me one as they were leaving the country, after a short amount of time, I realized I was using the scooter more than my motorcycle. And then it got to the point where I was using the, motor the scooter a lot more than my motorcycle because it's just so much more convenient and easy. Look at you, I'm just riding along with one hand. I don't have to shift gears. Uh, and it's just as quick. In the city, you know, I've said it before, you could take your whatever motorcycle you got, you know, GSXR, Ducati, CBR, whatever. Come into this city, I will race you and I will beat you. A scooter will destroy a motorcycle in the city. And the majority of people do the majority of their riding in cities. So, yeah. So, so it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, yeah, and then, so I, once I was, someone kind of forced a scooter on me and then I realized how good it was, then I went out and bought like, I, you know, a year or two later, I went out and bought like a, a proper one. I like a nice one and then yeah ever since I've been using scooters the majority of the time uh, I still have my motorcycle I still have my ninja oh that's a nice paint job uh, uh, speaking of cars and paint jobs I, I, I might be getting I might have to get a car uh, because I have a girlfriend uh, who is great and I ha and I, I'm, I'm fighting to get custody of my son and uh, on the weekends when I do see my son, and usually my girlfriend comes over on the weekends too, it's always a problem because we can't really go anywhere. For the three of us to go somewhere, we all three of us have to get onto a scooter or a motorcycle. And when my son was smaller, it wasn't it was doable, but he's getting taller and taller and taller, and now three people crammed on one motorcycle, it's 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 not comfortable. Oh, especially with the dog as well. If you want to take the dogs, it, it's still doable without the dog. But with the dog, it's, it's, it's extremely uncomfortable. Because the, whoever sits in front of me, which would be my son, he can't put his feet down because there's a dog there. So he ends up having to put his feet up on the dash and he's like, he's like in a fetal position. It's, yeah. So, so yeah, if, if, if I do get custody, uh, I'm gonna need to get a car. It's just uh, uh, something cheap and second hand. Um, I only have two requirements, really. Uh, one is that it's a hatchback. I don't like sedans. And uh, number two, uh, that it's not white or gray. Every single car in Taiwan is either white or gray, or white or gray. And I, I it's, it's just look at white, black, gray, gray. And black is just another version of gray because once black's a little bit dirty, it's gray. Once white's a little bit dirty, it's gray. So pretty much every car in Taiwan is gray. So I just want it to be a color. It can be uh, preferably red, uh, blue is okay, green would be my least favorite of colors, but it's still not. That was totally green, that light was green. Um, yeah, so uh, that's it. I, I'm, I'm where I need to be, I'm going to the motorcycle shop over there, so I'm going to cut this video but yeah it's an update pretty positive uh, I'm 
doing okay recently. Um, I, I'm trying to be more healthy, and uh, I feel recently I've been starting to get a, a, a grip on that. I'm starting to do better. That's weird. You have a car spot there, to cars to spot, and then directly in front of it, you have a car parked illegally. Hi, Uno. Hi. My good. Oh, hello. You go. You're up on my scooter, and now you're down again, and then you're up, and oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. How you doing, buddy? It's a nice motorcycle. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna cut the video. So yeah, it's a short update. Don't know if I covered much other than, well, you didn't know what I covered. <laughs> I'm gonna sign out. Oh no.